guys welcome back to my channel um i have a pretty large dollar tree haul um a couple of things from walmart that i'm going to show you that i got for my upcoming my son's upcoming birthday party um and a few things at um five below yeah that's the other store <laughs> um the dollar tree haul came from two different stores uh one of them is a store that I've only been to one other time because it's it's out of state. It's in Connecticut. Um, I'm in Massachusetts. Uh, it's probably only about 20 minutes away, but I just never think to go there because it's, you know, you got to get on the highway. And to me, it seems further away, but it's not. Um, this store was actually massive. It was probably twice the size of any of my stores in the area. Um, and it was amazing. Um, so let's get on with the haul. First thing I picked up, which all Dollar Trees have, um, and I, I think they continuously carry them, it's just a cylinder vase. Um, I have one back there, it's kind of hard to see. It's got the twine, not twine, uh, like twig balls in it and the fairy lights. Um, so I'm planning on doing that on the other side where my uh, wax melt is. Um, so I picked this up today picked up this garden flag for the summer. It's got a um, hummingbird on it. It says welcome and then it's got, I'm not sure what kind of flowers those are, but I figured that was pretty for the summer. <clears throat> a lot of this stuff that I got today was for my son's birthday party next month. Um, I picked up this candle and the only reason I picked it up is because it reminded me of Bargain Bethany with the, the marble um effect on it it says it smells like cozy sweater i didn't get that it smells nice it's not bad i just don't i don't understand what a cozy sweater smells like i guess but um i picked it up because i liked it i thought it was super cute um and i know bargain bethany likes the marble stuff and uh just reminded me of her <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And then I picked up three packs of the Crayola construction paper. Um, there's 30 pieces in here, 10 colors, so I'm assuming you get three colors of each piece, or three pieces of each color. And I'm planning on doing some DIYs, making um, Rub Rubik's Cubes out of um, boxes. So I need the construction paper for the colors on the Rubik's Cubes. And then I had a couple pieces of wall art. Um, I had never seen these before. I don't know if they're new or if they are just in that particular store that I was in today. But one says focus on the good and it's got the faux wood. Um, and it is like slotted here so it kind of looks like slots of wood slats of wood I think I don't know um, but it says focus on the good and it's got the camera and this is one of my my sayings through my uh, weight loss journey and then this one says enjoy the journey um, I don't like the background of this one as much but I like the saying because this is another thing that I um, try and focus on is enjoying the journey, enjoying, you know, the new life and everything else through my weight loss, um, program. Ooh, this one's heavy. I'm guessing because this has the juice in it, yeah. Um, I picked up these. These are, they call them slap hand. Um, but the main reason I got them is for the, the sticky hands. I got orange and green and then the purple and the pink. Um, I don't like the the plastic part here. I might try and take that off. But in the 80s and 90s, they had these um, like rubby, rubbery kind of hands that would stick to things. And um, so I picked those up for the party. And then I picked up this, uh, it's a four pack of plastic tongs just to help serve some of the candy um, because I'm going to give people loot bags or have them take a loot bag and just fill their bags with candy to take home with them. Um, so I figured this would be a good way to get some of the candy um, out of the containers that I'm going to have them in. 
And then I picked up two packages of these poster letters. And I may need more. I'm not sure. There's two of each letter in here. They're two and a half by two and a half inches. And you get 52. Um, I'm going to use these to make the signs that say taco bar and candy bar. Um, and whatever else I'm going to put up for signs. So these are going to go on the uh, neon poster board that I hauled last time. And then, let me see if I can take these out. I picked up these Kool-Aid Bursts. Um, I'm not sure if these were around in the 80s and 90s. I'm, I'm pretty sure they were. But um, I picked these up because it reminds me of the drinks that were around in the 90s. You know, the plastic bottle with the little twist off thingy. And, um, so I picked these up. This is the Tropical Punch. And then I also got the Berry Blue. Um, I got two of each of these, so you're going to see them again. Um, if I come across the bag, I'll, I'll probably not show you. But um, I don't think everyone is going to drink them. Most people aren't going to drink Kool-Aid. You know, we're adults. But um, I wanted to have enough for everybody just in case, you know, everybody does drink one. Uh, I don't want to seem like... I don't want people to feel like they can't have one because, you know, there aren't enough. Um, oh, yep. Here's the next bag of the same thing, the Kool-Aid Bursts. So I'm not going to show you those. You already saw what they look like. This stuff is actually from a store closer home, closer to home. Um, one that I go to on a regular basis. Uh, I picked up these Velcro squares. Um, I'm sure I have some somewhere. I just don't know where I put them. And what I do is I, I get a square box of tissues um, and I put four of the rough ones on the bottom of the box. And then I put them on the console of my car, the hump of my car, and it stays there pretty well. So I thought I picked up some more when I saw them because I don't remember where I put the other ones that I had. And it's time for a new box of Kleenex in my car, especially since I'm getting a little bit of a cold, thanks to my husband. Uh, and then these are the loot bags that I'm going to have. Um, I got one pink and two green. These were the only like neon colors that they had. Um, so these are the ones I got. I did see, I think, yellow ones, kind of a bright neon yellow. Um, today and I just chose not to pick them up because I don't need 40 loot bags. I'm probably not even going to need 30. Um, but I wanted a different color besides the two green. But this will be fine. My, my son is not going to like the pink but there are going to be girls there so he's going to have to deal with it. <laughs> um, and then I picked up two of these edge of sketch green and yellow. I think I just got two. Um, Etch a Sketch was a big thing back in the 90s, um, so I thought it would be fun, you know, just to have them on display on the table and have people play with them and reminisce about being old, <laughs> or reminisce about being a kid, I should say. I picked up some invitations. They just say party, and they've got not really neon colors, but the bubbles or the circles, whatever you want to call them. And then on the back it says four um date time place hosted by an rsvp you get eight in each package sorry i don't know if you can see that there we go it's a little better you get eight in each package i got three and i'm sure that'll be plenty because i'm not sending out very many paper invitations most of it's going to be you know either facebook or whatever um see if I oh i got some more of the tongs um, I got these earlier on a, on a different day, but these are the silver ones. Um, so I'm going to kind of mix it up because we're going to have uh, also a taco bar. So I'll use this for some things as well um, on that. And then I got, wow, I got a lot. <laughs> I got six packages of the Fruit Stripe gum because this was a big deal in the 90s and my son Terry really likes it still. Um, as a 30 year old, he still likes this. So I picked up six packages of these. There's 
um, five, no, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's five packages of, I don't know, maybe 10 um, sticks. I don't know. But anyway, I got five packages, so there's 30. So everyone can go home with a, a package of gum in their loot bag if they choose to. Um, and then I picked up the Monkey Links. Uh, I forget the actual name of the, the brand name of these. Um, but it was like Monkey in a Barrel or something like that. I just picked these up again just to display on the table as a, you know, reminisce about being young and being a kid. Um, sorry for the noise. I'm just trying to get multiple things. Uh, I picked up two of the Pond's um, Pure Detox Facial Foam with activated carbon charcoal. Um, you get 3.5 ounces in each one, and I figured I'd pick up two because I don't think they're going to be around for very long. And if I like it, great. If I don't, I'll give it to somebody else to use. Um, but a name brand for a buck is a great deal, I think, at uh, Dollar Tree. And this is kind of a miscellaneous thing, but it's the Votive Candles, the um, luminescence battery operated ones. And you get 240 hours total, so 120 for each one. And they're going to go in the pink um, votive holders that I got the last time that I hauled last time, which are displayed back there now. Um, and then I picked up one set. Yeah, actually, I got more today because I found more at the other store that I went to. Um, but one set of these, I have them in that vase back there, like I showed you. So they're going to go in see if I can do this without dumping things all over in this vase. Um, I don't care for this color that much. I prefer a different color, but um, this is all I've been able to find lately. So I picked these up and I did pick up a, more pa a couple more packages that I'll show you um, today at the store I went to. And then I picked up this ready to use Aroma Guru Roll-On Lavender um, Aromatherapy Oil it's got sweet almond oil plus lavender essential oils um, I have a spray but I don't like it it's very very oily and it just gets it, it, I get too much of it when I spray it so I'm gonna try this maybe just roll it behind my ears before I go to bed and see if it helps me sleep a little bit better or go to sleep a little bit better and then I picked up the Bolero um, moisturizing and cleansing facial wipes in the coconut oil and sea salt. Um, I have the coconut vanilla cream ones and I like those a lot. I don't like this scent quite as much as I like the coconut vanilla cream, but um, it's coconut and I do like these Bolero face wipes quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna stand up to get the next bag because it's kind of over there. Next few bags, I guess. Oh, wow, heavy. I said this was a huge haul. I wasn't lying. Um, I know I've said that a huge haul before and it doesn't seem to be that big. I picked up these two banners. You actually get two of them in here and they both, they both say happy birthday, but one is kind of like a, um, holographic iridescent, not iridescent, but holographic, I guess solid banner. And then the other one is the letters that go across. And again, those are, you know, the holographic type material. Um, so I picked that up for the birthday party. Like I said, most of the stuff I got is for the birthday party. Here are more of the balls that I was talking about. I did find one package of the small dark ones, um, but like I said, the lighter ones are the only ones I've been able, mostly the only ones I've been able to find lately. Um, I actually found some Goo Gone this is at the other store in Connecticut. Um, I'm, I'm pointing that way like you know where, I, where it is. <sighs> but this, is in the, this was at the store in Connecticut. I never found this at any of my stores. It never came to any of my stores up here. Um, so I was excited to see it at the store I went to today in Connecticut. Because um, that's a good deal. And Goo Gone is, it, you know, it doesn't take a lot to um, work. 
And then I picked up some plastic wear for the party. And you get 48 pieces in each bag. I got two. Um, you get 16 of each. 16 forks, 16 knives, and 16 spoons. So that's, you know, it's 30, no. Let's see if I can do math. Yeah, 32 um, of each. So that should be plenty of each. And then I picked up, if you haven't noticed, I'm going with a lot of green. And that's mainly because that's the neon color that I'm finding is the green, um, unfortunately. And then I picked up this little caddy and I figured the napkins can go in here. Um, and then maybe forks and knives and then spoons in here or something like that. We're really not going to need the forks and knives until we get to the cake. Um, but some people may want a fork, you know, to pick up the meat that falls out of their taco or whatever. So, you yeah. know. And then I got ugh, these two plastic trays. There's, they've got three sections to them. And I'm going to use these in the, for the, um, the taco bar. I'm going to put like cheese and, um, diced tomatoes and the onions. Maybe not the onions because I don't think I'm going to need that many onions. Um, but there were several things that I was going to put in here. Maybe the lettuce and, um, whatever else, guacamole and stuff like that. So that's what those are for. And then I saw this a long, long time ago in my stores and I never picked it up because I wasn't really into um, the Eiffel Tower in Paris or any of that. I, then I wasn't. Now I've kind of gotten into liking the Eiffel Tower and Paris, even though I've never been. So when I saw this at the store in Connecticut, I was so excited because I've been looking for it at my stores and it hasn't been around. Um, so I saw this and I picked it up. It's the Eiffel Tower and that's the other half of it there. And it says Paris and there's, it's got, you know, bunches of roses. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the flowers or not, but on this side it says, um, take me to, and then Paris. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the take me to or not. Um, I may just use the Paris and the Eiffel Tower on this wall behind me somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um, and hopefully my significant other doesn't have a fit. He shouldn't because this is removable and it, it shouldn't be a problem with, you know, the paneling or anything. So I was so excited to see this at that store. Um, well, I think we'll take this out of here before I drop it. I picked up this glass jar, glass container, whatever you want to call it. Um, it has a lid. I picked this up for... Uh, some of the candy. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put in here yet, but I'm going to put one of them in here. Um, and I'll kind of show you the setup the day of the birthday party. I'll try and do a video of it and everything so you guys get an idea of what I'm doing. Um, I also got this new, it's new, Zero Sugar Kool-Aid Sour. It's a snappin' green apple flavor six packets um it's five calories per packet and this is actually a full serving one packet is a serving um there's no sodium in it no sugar in it no carbs so for five calories i'm not sure if i'm gonna like the sour part of it but i figured i'd give it a try oops and then i got flour tortillas I got three packages of them. You get um, 12 tortillas in each. So that's 36 tortillas. Not sure if that's actually going to be enough or not. Um, they don't expire until March of March 16th of 2019. So, you know, they'll keep buying until the party next month. Um, I'm not sure if 36 is going to be enough. I don't know how many people I'm going to have, but I'm also going to do crunchy taco shells. So I'm guessing that this is probably going to be plenty, but not 100% sure on that. Um, that's the bag that's ripped. Oh, well. I picked this up hoping that it may be different than the other Yes2 products. This is Yes2 Cucumbers Soothing, Calming, Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, 
like I said, I found this in my Connecticut store or the Connecticut store that I went to for only the second time today. Um, I've had issues with the Yes2 products burning my face. I've used the, the wipes on my face and they burned instantly. Um, it didn't last very long and it didn't make my face very red, but um, I wasn't comfortable with the sensation. So I'm hoping that this is not going to do the same thing because it's my cellar water, but we'll see. I'm going to give it a try and if not, I'll ship it off to somebody else. <laughs> um, but sorry, I didn't tell you how many ounces. It's three fluid ounces. So it's not a huge container, but it's got what you do. Is, let me see if I can open it. See, I always do this. I want to show you guys how it works and I don't think to take the plastic stuff off first. But that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. <laughs> um, so anyway, what you do is you lift this, maybe. Okay. There you go. You lift this top off and then you, I'm not going to push down because I don't have anything to collect the water, but you push down um, and that brings the water up. You push down with a cotton ball or a um, cotton pad to bring the the product up. So I thought that was a pretty neat thing. I was happy to see that. I'm just hoping I don't have the same result with that that I have other Yes2 products. Um, that's it for Dollar Tree. Now let's show you the couple of things I got for the party from Walmart. And pardon me while I reach. Um, one of the things that I want to do is Dunkaroos. I don't know if you guys remember those, but they were, they came in a little package and you had like little graham crackers on one side and they were actually kangaroos, I think. And then you had a little container of like frosting or something on the other side. I think it was frosting. Um, well, they don't make them anymore, but I wanted to do them for the party because they were a big 80s, 90s thing. So something I had seen on Pinterest, I believe, was buy Teddy Grahams and you buy Funfetti frosting. Now the frosting is blue. They didn't have any Funfetti that wasn't blue, unfortunately. Um, they did have a green one and I almost got that, but I decided to get the blue because the blue has neon fish with it. So I thought that would be kind of cute. Um, on the table so you know you serve these and you have this with it you can dunk the teddy graham in the frosting and it's kind of like dunkaroos um i did get the uh the cinnamon teddy grams and i can tell you how much i paid for those now dollar tree does have the funfetti frosting but it's a much smaller container and i'm not sure how many people i'm going to have but i didn't think it was going to be a big enough container I paid $1.50 for this one, which is 15.6 ounces. I'm not sure how how many ounces the one at Dollar Tree is, but it's it's much smaller. It's it's not a big container at all. Um, so that's why I got that at Walmart. Um, so I paid $1.50 for the Funfetti. And then, let's see if I can find it. The Teddy Grahams I paid $2.98 for, which is a little expensive, but... It's cute, and I think I only need one box. I don't think I need any more than that. Um, then I picked up two candles at Walmart. Uh, I know Dollar Tree has these. I only paid a dollar a piece for these, so I didn't pay any more than I would have at Dollar Tree. Um, I like these a little bit better because, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of indented in here. The ones at Dollar Tree aren't so indented, and what I want to do is fill this in with glue and then put... Um, if I can find something uh, that's iridescent, uh, not iridescent, um, neon colored gems or whatever inside to kind of spruce it up a little bit. So that's why I got these at Walmart, not the Dollar Tree ones. And that's it for Walmart haul. Sorry, one of the bags from um, Five below is very heavy and I'm going to deal with that one first so we can get rid of it. Um, I picked up two three pound dumbbells because uh, I have been doing a exercise challenge every month 
and I posted on Facebook um, and I posted on my Instagram and I, I've got a lot of people that are following me and doing it along with me so next month I want to do something with the upper body with the arms and I think I only have like one pound and five pound one pound isn't enough for me five pound is a little too much right now um, I'm still trying to work on you know my muscles and everything so I picked up the three pound ones and I love that they're purple I think they're so pretty <laughs> Not that that's going to make any difference when I'm working out, but you know, whatever, they're pretty. Um, so these were five, I think these were five dollars a piece. I'm pretty sure they were. They might have been four, but I think they were five dollars a piece. So I'm not going to even bother to put those back in the bag. Um, there are a couple things in here. Oh, I can actually tell you how much I spent on them. Oh, they were $4, $4 a piece, not 5 uh, The next thing I got exercise-wise was this exercise ball book. I have an exercise ball, and I do work with it a little bit. Um, but I thought it was a pretty interesting book and had some good ideas on how to use the ball um, properly. Because I just kind of stretch on it most of the time. But this is a good way to to exercise as well. Um, so I thought this was uh, nice for, I'm pretty sure this was $5. Yeah, it was five bucks, but for five bucks, you know, it's not that bad as long as I use it. That's the whole thing. And I think everything else here is for the party. I got the mega candy dots or candy buttons, excuse me. Uh, one, two, three, and there's four different colors or flavors. Um, cherry, orange, lemon, and raspberry. And I got the big ones just because I just, I thought they were kind of neat. Um, not sure there's, according to this, there's 18 dots per serving and there's eight servings here. So, yeah, I, I will probably pick up another one of these. And these were um a dollar 99 so not the greatest price but you know it's for a birthday party so those and then i was kicking myself in the rear end i picked up two bags of pixie sticks at five below for a dollar 49 each you get uh it's 3.2 ounces um, I forget how many, you get about 35 straws in each one. Um, the first Dollar Tree I looked for these in did not have them. And then I went to, I know, Chicopee Dollar Tree, the, the main Dollar Tree that I go to all the time, which I hate the store. It's always a mess. It's always super busy and the lines are always, you know, so long, it's not even funny. So I don't know why I go to that store so much. I just think it's closest to me and it's got a Walmart right next to it and a five below. So, you know, I can kind of kill two stones with one bird, two birds with one stone. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, so anyway, I didn't find the pixie sticks at my main Dollar Tree that I go to all the time. Well, I went over to West Springfield, which is the one that's a little bit further away. I don't go to it all the time. Um, and that's the Five Below I went to as well. So I went to Five Below first, saw the pixie sticks, said, I'm going to grab them now because I don't want to take a chance and, you know, forget to get them or whatever. So I picked them up. I go to the Dollar Tree next door, right next door, literally next door to the Five Below. And they had the pixie sticks. And the Dollar Tree I was in today had the pixie sticks. So I paid 50 cents too much for these, but I'm not returning them and getting them at Dollar Tree. It's it's a dollar. I'll, I'll survive. <laughs> so enough for my rant. And the next thing I got was the Big League um, bubble gum. And I don't know that I'm going to have people take this or if I'm just going to display it on the table uh, just as a cute, you know, reminiscence um, of our old days and I say ours because I am you know I grew up in the 90s really 
my son was born in 89. I was only 17 then. So, um, yeah, I kind of grew up in the 90s. Uh, the 90s were mine, and the 80s were mine as well. The 80s more than the 90s, but um, I remember a lot of stuff from the 90s, and obviously I'm not that old. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's it for my hauls. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them, and I hope you, I showed you some stuff that is new to you and that you can, you know, hopefully find in your stores. Um, it's very cold here in Massachusetts. Yesterday, I think it got up to maybe 4 degrees. Today, it was in the 20s, and the sun was out, so it was a little bit nicer in the car, at least. Um, yesterday, I was off, and today I was off. I didn't go anywhere yesterday. I stayed in the house, in my pajamas, all day long, and I have no qualms about telling you that. <laughs> I didn't care. It was like, I need a break. I need to do a nothing day. Um, and I really didn't do nothing. I did do some stuff, but um, I didn't go outside the house. And it was just too cold to. I, I had no desire to go out in that weather. So anyway, um, that's it for my haul. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't, and give me a thumbs up and hit the notification button if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I will have some DIY videos coming up for the party and I will try and do the, um, you know, the party setup and show you what it, how it looks when I'm uh, done with it. And I guess that's it. Have a wonderful week. Um, it's Tuesday and eh, I have three days to work and then I have the weekend off. So yay. Um, but have a wonderful week, and I will be talking to you again soon in my next video. Bye-bye.